वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम वन डैश नाइन जीरो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्राम चैप्टर नंबर वन स्ट्रेस एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाई आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द मैक्मम अलाउेबल लोड पी दैट कैन बी सेफली सपोर्टेड बाई फ्रेम इफ टी इज़ वन पॉइंट टू फाइव इंच बी इज़ थ्री पॉइंट फाइव इंच द वुड हैज़ अ नॉर्मल फेलियर स्ट्रेस ऑफ सिक्स के एस आई एंड द शेयर फेलियर स्ट्रेस ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव के एस आई Use a factor of safety against failure of two. So you can see this is the frame clear that is acted upon by load P. The thickness T is given as one point two five inch, and this B is given as three point five inch. And the normal stress failure stress is six ksi, and shear fairing stress is one point five ksi. So you have to find this P load for the factor of safety of 2 so let's start with the solution so first step is that we will find internal loading so internal loading so for finding this force in member ab we will take we will use equilibrium of joint a joint a so you can see here at joint a we have one load p this member will exert a load in this direction and similarly this fac will exert force over in this direction so we will draw the free body diagram over here so let this is your point p so we here you have four vertical force of p which we will find clear this member ab will exert a force in this direction clear this is f a b and this is the member ac which will exert force f a c in this direction and this is your point a or joint a now you can see here that this is 30 angle so if i draw horizontal line from here so using alternate angle this angle will be also 30 degree and this will be also 30 degree so this is 30 degree and this will be also 30 degree because you can see this is 30 degree and this is also 30 degree now we'll find this fab and fac by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all force along x direction must be equal to 0 and force in this direction is taken as positive so this force will have two component one along x axis this component will be equal to fab cos of 30 degree and similarly this will have one horizontal component in this direction this will be equal to fac cos of 30 degree and this component will have one vertical component which is fab sin of 30 degree and this will have vertical component fac sin of 30 degree so by using this equation of equilibrium so fab cos of 30 degree which is horizontal component in positive direction minus fac which is horizontal component of fac and in opposite direction their sum must be equal to 0 so from here fab will be equal to f a f a c cos of 30 degree divided by cos of 30 degree so that will be equal to f a c so f a b is equal to f a c so we have one equation is this one now we'll apply another equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so minus p plus f ab sin of 30 plus f ac sin of 30 will be equal to 0 so i will write minus p plus f ab sin of 30 degree plus f ac sin of 30 degree is equal to 0 now you can see fab is equal to fac so i will replace this fac with fab so fab sin of 30 degree 
plus this FAB sine of 30 degree plus this minus P. So 2 times FAB sine of 30 degree is equal to P. And when you calculate this FAB, so FAB will be equal to P divided by 2 sine of 30 degree and that will be also equal to P. Clear? So it means that this FAB is equal to FAC is equal to P. Okay. Now what we will do is that uh, you can see that this FAB is acting on this member at this point B will be in this direction as per Newton third law. So you can see here this is support. So we will find this reaction force FBX and this FBY. So basically the horizontal component of force acting on joint B can be determined. We are interested in this because this is producing shear in this area. So that can be found by using a free body diagram of joint B. So I will write it using joint B. So this is joint B where you have this FAB acting, FAB acting that is making 30 degree there. So at point B you will be having horizontal force, reaction force FBX and there will be a vertical reaction force which is FBY. So we are interested to find out this horizontal component. So this component can be obtained by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces in an x direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive. So FB x component FB x component minus this force will have two component one is y direction and other one is in x direction. So this component will be FAB cos of 30 degree. So I will write minus FAB cos of 30 degree is equal to 0. So FB x component will be equal to FAB cos of 30 degree since FAB is equal to P so it will be equal to P into cos of 30. So this is FB x. Clear? Now you can see that this FAB is acting on this member is like this. This at this joint there. So if we take out this section, this portion as AA, this line. Let me draw it from this point. This is section AA. So this FBX is acting over here, which is causing shear force or sharing of this. Clear? So as a result, shear force VAA will be equal to this FBX. So let me draw the free body diagram of this B of this portion. So let this is the wooden piece having bread B. Clear? And the net force acting on it is FBX, FBX, which is equal to P cos of 30 degree. Clear? And this P cos of 30 degree will be equal to 0 0.8660 times P. 0 0.866 times P. So as a result, there will be a shear reaction, shear horizontal reaction, shear force. So by using equation of equilibrium, we will find this and you will get VAA minus 0 0.866P is equal to 0. So VAA is equal to 0 0.866P. Now you have shear force and you have normal force in portion FAB so we will use uh, we will find allowable 
normal stress in shear stress. So how you will find normal stress? So we know that factor of safety is equal to failure stress divided by allowable stress here. So from here, allowable normal stress is equal to failure stress divided by factor of safety. So failure stress is given as 6 KSI and factor of safety 2. So 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 KSI. Now similarly, factor of safety is equal to failure sharing stress, share stress in failure divided by allowable share stress. So from here, allowable sharing stress is equal to sharing stress in failure divided by factor of safety. So that is 1.5 divided by 2. Let me check it. This is 1.5 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.75 KSI. Now using this formula, we know that allowable normal stress is in member AB is FAB divided by area of AB. So allowable stress is 3 KSI, so 3 into 10 to the power 3 FAB is P. You can see FAB is equal to P divided by area of AB. So you can see this thickness is T which is 1.25 and this breadth is also 3. So 3, this is 1.25 and this is 3.5 inch. So this is the cross sectional area. So I will write 1.25 multiply by 3. So P from here you will get P will be equal to 11 point 11 pounds or P will be equal to 11.25 kip but that is for allowable normal stress now we'll use allowable sharing stress and we know that allowable sharing stress is equal to horizontal shear force divided by sharing area AA so from here, allowable sharing stress is 0 0.75 KSI, 0 0.75 into 10 to the power 3 is VAA. So VAA is 0 0.866 times P divided by sharing area. So you can see this is the sharing area. This is the width and uh, length B and this is the thickness 3. So 3B. B is also given as 3.5. Clear? So I will write it 3 multiply by 3.5. So from here you will get P will be equal to 9093.27 or uh, that is 9.09 .09 kip. So now you have two loads. One P is this one, another one is this one. So we will choose the smallest value for the safer design. So your P is equal to 9.09 kip. That can be applied to this system. And that was all about this problem 1-90. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching and supporting me.